Chimera, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. The knife is in there. We should have gotten rid of that ages ago. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us, we've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. We can't bring Lady Marjorie into this. What? Why not? A scandal could hurt her right now. Scandal? They're going to cut off our heads. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Being near me is dangerous, Tom. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, my lady. But we're in this together. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. I need allies, Tom. Allies with real power. If I can get an audience with Cersei, Maybe she'll put a stop to this. I don't like it. But I can get her a message if it's what you want. In the meantime, there's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. Meet me there. Who's there? Show yourself. Or it'll be worse for you. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The cold boy. Take him. Gates are down. Archers at the ready. The foot soldiers are armed, for whatever that's worth. Talia and Elena. In the cellars, where they'll be safe. You should be with them, my lady. And let Lud think that I'm afraid. Roderick Forrester! By order of houses Whitehill, Bolton and Baratheon, I order you to surrender your keep and present yourself for execution. <laughs> He must be shed in his britches. The coward. Go fuck yourself, Lord. Don't blame me for this, Roderick. Ramsay Snow said only one of our houses can survive. It will not be yours. Ryan, bring the gift. 
no. What's he doing? I brought you something to mount on your wall. Come on, lad. Hold it up so your brother can see. <laughs> no! Oh, you should have seen the rest of him! Or oh, what's left after we fell into the dogs? Oh, damn him! Does he have no limit? The next pikes for you, Lord! I'll see to it myself. Oh, oh, he's beginning to bore me. What? Take the gate! Take action! Hurry! Get those spires out before they spread to the roofs! Find me when the gate falls! We need to get off this bloody wall! That animal! He's taken everything from us. What's happening out there? Nothing good. This is Duncan's fault. I've been in many sieges, but because of him, the White Hills know our numbers, our defenses, the strength of our gate, and they're using Ryan as a human shield. I'd say we have hours, maybe less. Once they break that gate, Ironrath will fall. The problem isn't Ryan. He's Lord fucking White Hill. Cut the head off the snake, this all goes away. Now this is a plan. But how? They'll storm the keep the moment we open the gate. Then we don't go out the gate. Royland, the map. There's a hunting trail that runs through the forest. If a few of us were to slip out the Poston gate, We'd end up here, behind Lud's army. Sounds like a plan to me. We hit their camp, take out Lud, and maybe get your brother back in the bargain. My lord, I'm all in favor of acting decisively. But if you're caught out there, it's all over. This war, your house, your brother's life. Mira may live, but your mother won't. And Talia? Royland, if you have a better plan, now is the time to share it. I don't, my lord. Well, neither do I. Amaya, this is it. We're going to war. Are you with me or not? We are with you. Only because we need to keep our swords sharp. Then we leave this shit cold land. We'll either have won or we'll all be. Ah! Royland, I'm trusting you with the defense of Ironrath. They may have greater numbers, but they have none of our fight. You must leave for your own welfare. So you'd cut me loose like some injured horse? Give me a moment. Elena, why aren't you inside? Your master wants to send me away. The Glenmores have cousins in the Riverlands. I've stood by you since the beginning, Roderick. If our nights together meant anything to you, tell him I belong here at Ironrath. Tell him I make my own choices. My lady, this is foolishness. Call it what you want. When Roderick wins, I want to be here to see it. Elena, you know what happens to women in war. You think I'm naive? That I've made my choices blindly? They're here to kill us, Elena. And worse. I, I don't care. Roderick, we have to go now. May the gods be with you today, Roderick. I'll be waiting. The gate won't hold much longer. Then follow me. Let's end this before they do. She's late. 
left the key. Search the area. Lady Mira. There she is. Take her. What's all this? Lord Morcran. How lovely to run into you. Mira Forrester, you're coming with us. <coughs> My good sirs, there's no need for that. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. Or me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The River Gate. Thank you. The River Gate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mera? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumours. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Breaking into the imp's chambers and stealing that decree. That was bold. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironwood, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira, but it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. I have powerful allies. One word to Cersei, and you'll be in the cell next to Andros. You're mistaken, Mira Forrester. No one is coming to your aid. <laughs> We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Luca, fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You don't need to do this, Luca. Whatever you think you know, we, we can work something out. Shut your liar's mouth! 
it's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. Josra would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were, that he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. It wasn't easy. I had to break my vows to the Night's Watch. We barely made it. Not many survive this far north of the Wall. But you're here. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. We haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befasta.
Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. Is that your way of thanking me? Maybe I was wrong about you. We'll see. Killing them, I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. Are you all right? You don't look well. It's nothing. I'm fine. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir. Did you not hear me? Fulgorn! Sona! What? Wait! Fulgorn Vicenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. There must be something you can do to stop her. She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. You said yourself, House Forrester is in danger. This is our chance to do something about it. My Sylvie! Never trust a fucking wildling.
like they didn't make it to the block. Oh God, those are human teeth. Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Jailer! Please. Shut it! Please come here! <laughs> hey, get away from there! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the father, whatever gods you believe in. I wasn't, I, I wasn't giving you any look. Don't deny it. I saw the disgust in your eyes. As if you never did anything you were ashamed of. I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. You think I give two shits about your judgment? What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. You backstabbing shit. You have a nerve. <laughs> There's no need for that, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. And if you also find your way back into Marjorie's graces, well... It would be a shame to waste such influence. Then I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. 
Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed mirror. Kingdoms too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house with a keep like Iron Wrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course, and I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, think of your bloodline, your precious Forrester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. What are you talking about? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mira. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that cold boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home, but you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? <laughs>